So now let's see how we can work around with guided watercolor effect inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So to work around with that, you need to go around onto the guided section right here. And then under special effects, you can see that watercolor is an option. So if I were to go around and click right here, then this is what you have. You can go around and choose, let's say, for example, effect one right here, just like this. You can go around over here and choose effect two over here, just like this. And you can also go around and choose effect three according to what you want to apply right here, just like this. So this is what you have right here. And if you were to go around onto effect three, then you will get that accordingly. So if I were to go around over here, just like that, then uh, that color, that effect will be applied. So let me just go around onto the first effect itself right here, as you can see. And then over here, you can see watercolor paper is an option. So if I were to go around and click, you can go around and choose the watercolor paper that you want to apply. And you can see that instantly it starts looking like a watercolor right here. So you can go around, decrease or increase the opacity right here. You can go around and click on canvas texture and choose out the texture of the canvas that you want to apply as well. And you can go around, increase out the intensity or decrease out the intensity of the can, um, uh, canvas as you can see just like this. You can go around onto refine uh, brush effect right here, increase out the size right here just like this and decrease out the opacity right here and then draw around over here as well let me just go around with the size and i can decrease out the effect by using the subtract tool or i can use the add tool right here to increase out the effect as you can see you can go around onto the type tool right here as you can see and then click, click uh, onto any area and type in a text that you want over here as well and choose the text style right here but just by clicking on it and the text style is applied as you can see this like this and you can go around onto textile onto advance and here you can see that you can choose uh, different effects like drop shadow like glow right here as you can see you can choose the inner glow and outer glow over here as well you can also bubble everything out right here as you can see just like that and work around with stroke as you can see just like this as well you can go around work around with the stroke right here just like this and that is what you have so that is how you can utilize the guided watercolor effect inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.